take a poll among players and the cricketing media as to the ideal professional cricketer, Dennis Amis would be very high on anybody's list. Dedicated, loyal, quiet, pipe smoking. He's done a marvellous job over the last 25 years for Warwickshire. In fact, as I speak, he's approaching 40,000 runs and 100 hundreds. He made his first appearance for England in 1966 against the West Indies. That was at the Oval, I remember. And then he went on to play regularly for England until in 1975 he was dropped after making four noughts in four successive tests against the might and fury of Lilly and Thompson. But a year later, with the West Indies, two up in the series, he was recalled at the Oval and he went in first with Woolmer, facing a West Indies total of 687. Daniel Duenas. It's a good shot, in the position nicely, clipped it through mid-arms, chase there for Bernard Julian. And no problem here, they're going to get four all run. And not an unusual occurrence here at the Oval, it's a very, very big ground. That's a good shot. Over pitched, hit firmly off the back foot. And Emmis demonstrating once again that it's just as easy to hit these pace bowlers if you move back into line off the back foot as it is stretching out and never been quite sure whether you're at the pitch or not. Four runs. And Dennis Amos. Ooh, that's a good ball. And yet he looked as though he was playing inside, and even though it cut back. He was beaten for pace, that's all it was. That's a catch, but it didn't stay in the fingers. I think it just flicked the hand as it went through, but it's given Dennis Amos his half century. A good comeback. A lot of courage has gone into that effort. It's well appreciated by the people here today. One's also got to remember, of course, that Lloyd has kept an attacking field the whole time. Nobody back on the boundary. And Roberts again to Amos. It's a fine shot. Over pitch ball, into line, cracked through mid off the four. And all the time, Dennis Amos here relishing his return to the test match scene. Dennis Amos is holding fast there for England 83 facing Andy Roberts good shot four runs takes him to 87 Dennis Amos is on 91 now on 95 Amos, in fact, on 96 now, as holding moves in. And that could be it. Over pitch ball, driven through mid-off, hurrying away. Julian's given up the chase, it goes through for four. And a tremendous comeback this by Dennis Amos. Recall to this England side, one or two people having serious misgivings about his ability to deal with the pace. He's answered him in the best possible fashion. Going to a really excellent 100 out of 168 here for three. And coming in an exceptionally good time. Three hours, 20 minutes for his 100 and included 13 fours. A 
That's a fine shot. Four runs. Good looking stroke that from Amos. That's a better one. So the 200 comes up for England and what a lovely way to bring it up with a classic back foot drive. Richard's keeping going at the Vauxhall end. Four all the way, bad ball, the first really bad one from Richards, pulled quite viciously through mid-wicket by Amos. There's a full toss put away quite beautifully, and very simply by Amos for four over mid-wicket. short again and that's through for four more and this waiting for that one drops short of a length fairly cracked it through midwick it moves on to his 150 now 151 and getting a good round of applause too from the West Indian cricketers out there Another good shot, will go through I think for four, big chase there, might just catch it, it's a good sprint there by Greenwich, that's how they get three. Well, that's a good, firm, straight drive. This really has been a fine exhibition by Amis. to 164, and those runs scored out of 273. Well, that's through the offside for four. Cracked away off the back foot. And that boundary to Amis brings up the 300. 303 now for four. And Dennis Anderson's personal contribution to all this is now 176. Great shot. It was in the air. It went past that man like a rocket. Got it through the gap, in the air, but between the two men. It's worth having a look at how he plays that shot. He's into position there and he's hitting it on the up. And I think we can say with confidence that he's trying, with that particular stroke, to get it over the top of the fieldsman. Good shot. Moved into that very, very nicely. Perfectly timed. In the air and four. Also is four. 
and it's his double hundred. It was over Greenwich's head. Dennis Amos goes to 203. A superb effort. Fine cricketer, Amos, and one of the best fellows you could meet in the game. And as Bolden has gone over too far, he's left the leg stump wide open. And Dennis Amis out for 203. The man to strike again, Michael Holden. What a tremendous effort this by Dennis Amis on his return to the Test Match scene. Wonderful performance, 203 he made. That's the highest score ever made on this ground in the Test Match by an Englishman against West Indies.